Welcome back to Xbox Tavern's YouTube channel. My name is Daniel and today we are reviewing Bouncy Bullets 2. This features 45 levels in total, plenty of colorful terrains, enemies and friendly inhabitants that shoot you and some of them you do have to save. It's a first person exploration combat and there is a speed run mode. This game is published by Rattalika Games and it's developed by Petit Games. If you want my full conclusion, head over to xboxtavern.com where you'll be able to see the full conclusion. Link will be in the description. Let's get into what I actually thought about this game. The controls are good. Um, shooting enemies with your gun can be a little bit of a pain because you can't kind of zoom in. You're using the uh, dot sight on the screen to shoot enemies. Um, certain colored enemies need to be killed by that specific ball color. Um, which can be slightly, I don't want to say frustrating, but it can be annoying because you have to remember what color is assigned to what button. So it could be on A, Z, uh, it could be right trigger. That is slightly annoying. The level designs are quite good. There, uh, there are a few times where you have to kind of come back on yourself thinking, well, hang on, should I have gone left or should I have gone right? So it does give you that kind of lead you down a path where you have to really think about which way you should go. I know I mentioned right at the beginning that they describe this as a exploration combat game, but I would more describe it as a kind of a puzzle platformer. It, uh, it, it feels the platforming kind of um, genre more because you do have to leap onto other platforms to get across the map. Um, you do have to take kind of uh, twists, turns, elevators. So yeah, I mean, to me, this is more of a puzzle platformer than kind of a combat exploration game. Um, in the loose sense of the term you are timed so yeah certain levels you need to make sure you do it within a certain amount of time normally it's like 99 seconds um, all in all it's a very good enjoyable game um, would I suggest you buy it possibly not if you like these Rattalika titles which do kind of pump out achievements then yes it's definitely worth you picking up um, for the normal air quote normal gamer I would suggest maybe giving it a miss. I mean, it is quite a good palate cleanser in terms of just sitting there, switching your mind off and just roaming the, the countryside. However, if you've got Game Pass and other games like that, I do think this might be one to miss. As I mentioned earlier, if you want the full conclusion, head over to xboxtavern.com. I've been Daniel, and in the card next to me will be a Microsoft Rewards card video make sure you go watch that save yourself some money and get yourself some free xbox game pass ultimate i've been daniel xbox tavern take care bye bye